John wrote the Gospel of John between AD 70 and AD 100. He was a close friend of Jesus and lived in a city called Ephesus. He wrote to both Jews and non-Jews. The main idea of his gospel is to show that Jesus is the promised Savior and Son of God. By believing in Jesus, people can have eternal life. John uses special signs and witnesses, like Jesus' miracles and John the Baptist, to prove this. At the start, there was the Word, and the Word was both with God and was God. Everything was created through the Word, and this Word brought life and light to everyone. John was a messenger sent by God to tell people about this light. Even though the Word came into the world and made it, many people did not recognize him. But those who did believe in him became children of God. The Word became a person and lived among us, showing us God's greatness and kindness. John said that this person was special and came before him. Through Jesus, we receive grace and truth, and he helps us understand God, who no one has ever seen. This is John. John lived about 2,000 years ago. God had told him to live in the desert and to talk to the people who would come to him there, asking them to change their lives. As a sign that they really wanted to live a better life and follow God, the people let John lower them under the water of the Jordan River and bring them up again. This process was called baptism. Because John did this, he was also called John the Baptist. One day, when Jesus was 30 years old, he visited John in order to be baptized. John recognized that Jesus was the Son of God, and therefore told the people who were with him, This is the man I told you about. I told you there is someone coming who is more important than me. He is the one sent by God, who will make a way for us to be cleaned and forgiven of all our wrongdoings. John didn't even want to baptize Jesus. You should be baptizing me, he said. Jesus explained that it was important that he himself be baptized. So, John baptized Jesus. When Jesus came out of the water, a dove landed on his shoulder. This was a sign that God's Holy Spirit was on Jesus and was leading him from that day on. In the same moment, a voice came from heaven saying, This is my Son, who I love and who I am pleased with. Jesus was at a lake to preach. There were a lot of people there who wanted to listen to him. He asked a fisherman named Simon, Can I use your boat to talk to the people from the lake? Simon agreed, and from the boat, Jesus told the people things about God. Then Jesus said to Simon, Go out and throw out your fishing nets. Simon replied, We did not catch anything all night. By day, it was usually a waste of time trying to catch anything because the fish were swimming too far down. But if you say so, Simon said, I'll try. So they went out again to the lake, and Simon threw his nets into the water. The nets filled with so much fish that they had trouble bringing them all onto the boat. Some of the nets even tore. Simon had to call for help from other fishermen, John and James. When Simon realized what had just happened, he was startled. He knelt in front of Jesus and confessed, Go away from me, I am a bad person. But Jesus answered, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will no longer catch fish, but lead people to God. You will fish for men. The fishermen brought their boats to the beach, left everything behind, and went with Jesus from then on. The next day, Jesus went to Galilee and asked a man named Philip to follow him. Philip was from Bethsaida and found his friend Nathanael, telling him about Jesus. Nathanael was surprised because he thought nothing good could come from Nazareth. But when he met Jesus, Jesus knew things about him that nobody else could. This made Nathanael believe that Jesus was very special. Jesus told him that he would see even more amazing things in the future. 